Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. This is our fourth class of the recovering program. How do you feel? Let me know please in the comments. How do you feel with the class? Do you find the improvement? And remember that you have to kind of do it more often during the week and then you get fantastic results. So are you ready? And let's start. We're going to start on the ground. So lie down on your back, move your hands under the knees and we just go down. We're going to just hold here, taking a couple of breaths. You can breathe in and out through your nose, but if you feel like you prefer to breathe out through your mouth or in some parts you feel like a more relief or rela feel more relaxed breathing out, it's fine. You can do it as well. So let's start, everybody. We're going to extend our arms and our legs. We take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. We're going to move the hands towards to the right corner and the legs towards to the left corner. Vananasana. And we just hold here for breath. Breathe in deep. And breathe out. Feeling nice and stretching the back. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go for two. And out. And just one more. And breathe out. Move your legs towards the other side. So we move the hands to the left corner and the feet to the left corner of the mat. Let's hold for four breaths. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. And out. And let's go two. And out, and just one more, and out. Back to center, bend your legs, uh, move your hands beside your shoulder, your palms facing down, and very gently, we're just going to rock the knees sideways just to release our legs, release our back, we just rock here gently, and we hold for five. And four, and three, without forcing our body. Let's go two, just one more, everybody. Good. We lift our feet, we go reclining child pose. We squeeze the legs to us to your tummy, relax your shoulders and your face. We hold for four breaths, breathe in. And out. let's go for three. And, out. and let's go two. And, out. and just one more. And out. gently drop your feet on the ground. But we keep the right leg up. We move the hands at the back of the knee. You can keep your leg bent. And we're just going to make a circle around with your foot. Let's go 10, 9. Just to release your lower leg. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We change the direction. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we squeeze the knee towards our tummy. We feel the stretch in the glutes and the lower back. Let's hold for four. Breath in. And out. Let's go for three. And out. And let's go two. Out. And just one more. Now we're going to extend the leg and we're just going to point the toes away. We're going to breathe in as we lower the leg as far as we don't arch the back. We keep our tummy in and we flex the foot and we lift the leg back again to the starting pose. Don't force as far as it feels good. Don't pull the back of the leg. So let's go. Breathe in down and get your tummy. Breathe out up. Let's go for nine and up. Let's go for eight. And up. Let's go for a seven. And up. Let's go for a six. 
and oh, let's go five. Oh, let's go four. Oh, let's go three. Oh, let's go two. Up, just one more. And up. Now bend your knee, squeeze again the knee towards your tummy. We hold here for four. Relax your shoulders and your face. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Slowly drop your foot back onto the ground and we lift. First, we're going to repeat all the movements with the ankle just to release the legs. So we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, trying to make a circle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change the direction. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Bend your knees, squeeze and it's towards your tummy. Be careful to don't raise your shoulder. Relax your shoulders. We hold four breath. Breathe in. And let's go for three. And let's go for two. And and just one more. And we release the arms, we point the toes away, we breathe in as we lower the leg, breathe out, flex your foot, move your legs back to the starting box, and we keep going, breathe in, down, breathe out, oh. let's go for nine, and oh. let's go for eight, and oh. Let's go for seven, and oh. let's go for six, and up, let's go for five, and up, let's go for four, up, let's go three, breathe out when you are coming, two, up and it feels hard eh? and the last one as oh, good everybody bend your knee squeeze and it was your tummy relax your shoulders and your face we hold for four and uh, let's go for three and uh, let's go for two and breathe out and just one more and breathe out drop your foot and we're gonna go on to the bridge so keep the same with hips knees and feet we're gonna lift the pelvis as far as you can if it's possible move your arms under your back interlace your fingers your palms facing towards to your neck press your arms keep your arms straight press your arms to open our chest and press our feet strong on the ground. We're going to hold here four breaths. Breathe in. And let's go for three. And let's go for two. And just one more. And Release your arms, everybody. Release your spine. Open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down. Drop your knees towards the right side. Make sure that your right leg completely rests on the floor. Don't worry, the left don't go too low. Just keep both shoulder blades on the ground. And if it feels good, move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold here for breath. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for three. And out. And let's go two. And just one more. And out. Back 
to the starting pose. Drop towards the other side, move your face opposite direction. Let's hold four breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for a three and out. And let's go two and out. And just one more. And out. And back to center. We're going to lift our feet, move our hands under the knees. If it's possible, we lift the head, we're rocking backward and forward to move on to the sitting pose. If, it is, if this is not good for you, you roll on the side and then you push your body all the way up. Yep. So let's start on all fours. So remember here it's important that the index fingers is facing forward and then the other one just spread but you cannot dig your fingertips on the ground to don't let the weight collapse on the wrist so you with the sensation of digging your feet your fingertips on the ground you engage your muscles to balance the weight in your hands so it's not too much for the wrist keep the same with hips knees and feet and we're just gonna go from here we're gonna curl the toes under we're gonna push us back at until the maximum stretching your toes and then we're just gonna move forward and we're gonna go a little bit further than the hands but without dropping the hips and we keep going we go back and we move forward and let's go three and move forward and let's go two and four and just one more and forward. Now this time we point the toes away and we just sit back, child pose. But this time we're gonna move our hips, rock into the right and rock into the left. Just give a nice rock to release our back. Let the head go down if you can, change the chest to release your neck. And we just do a gently rocking with the hips sideways. Keep your deep breath. Let's hold it here for three more deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Last one. Breathe in and breathe out. Back onto all fours. Let's go into the dolphin to keep us with building up the strength. How do you feel after all these classes and the, this program of recovery? Do you feel more strong? Because that is important. That we, even if it feels hard at the beginning, that we keep building up the strength for the well-being of our muscles and our joints. So let's go. Drop your elbows on the ground. Interlace your fingers. Move your knees closer. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Lift the knees. Extend your back and your legs as far as it feels comfy. We're gonna hold for four, and a, let's go for the three, and a, let's go two, and out, just one more, and a, drop your knees gently onto the ground, move back onto all fours, right hand move behind, Turn towards to the right. Oh, if you lovely stretch, breathe in. And uh, we release. We change all the arm and turn. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. It feels so good in the back. Breathe out. And let's repeat again onto your right. Turn, dig your fingertips on the ground. Breathe in. Out. And then release. Last one on the left. Breathe in. Oh, I feel so good. Now curl the toes under. Down dog. Remember digging your fingertips on the ground so we don't feel pressure on the wrist. We just go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Engage your tummy. Let's go three. And down. Let's go two. And down. Just one more. And down. We look to the front. And walk forward, and we bend our knees. I'm gonna keep it here so you can see me. Bend your knees, remember this part. Don't worry to fully extend the legs. Breathe in to prepare everybody. Breathe out. Roll up your spine. Oh, it's good. Roll your shoulders backwards. Open your chest. Fantastic. 
We open our legs a little bit wider, it doesn't have to be too big. And the toes pointing towards to the corner of your mat, we're gonna bend the knees as far as our shoulder blades remain above our hips. Arms move to the front, bend your elbows. The right arm is gonna wrap the left one. Move the top of the hands closer. You can knot your hands, just make sure that you don't bend your fingers or your wrist. And we hold here, elbows up, keeping your legs bent. We hold four breath. Breath in. And out. let's go for the three. And out. let's go for the two. And out. Just one more. Excellent. Extend your legs. Release your arms. We move the arms at the back. Interlace your fingers. Move your feet parallel. Be careful with your hands, okay? That your hands are no point facing away facing towards to you, so they will help us to open our chest. Now we're for here, we're gonna breathe in, breathe out, press more with the ball of your feet and your toes, and slightly bend your knees, don't force your legs, open your chest, and we hold for four. Open your chest at the maximum. Let's go for three. If you feel pain or tension at the back of the knee, just bend your knees. Let's go for two, breath in. Ah, just one more. And release your hands on your hips, lift the chest, straight your back, push the ground, and we raise the torso. Now we move the toes towards to the corners again. We bend the knee, shoulders above your hips, arms to the front, left arm now under, wrap the right one under. Top of the hands closer, you can knock. Elbows up, we hold for four. Breath in. And let's go for three. Out. And let's go two. Out. Just one more, keeping your legs bent. Extend your legs. Open your arms, move your feet parallel, this time hands on our hips, we're going to breathe in to prepare, breathe out forward bend, we're going to slide the hands on our ankles and we just let the head drop, doesn't matter how far we can go, we can always bend the knees to have more relief, a more hinge from the hips. Let's hold for four, and a. let's go for three. And let's go for two. Uh, and just one more. Breathe in to prepare this time. Breathe out. Roll up your spine, everybody. And remember, it doesn't matter if we don't have our legs straight. We can bend them so we can help us to hinge more and release. We are rehabilitating our, rehabilitating our mobility, so we need to be very smooth. So no need to keep the legs straight, more if we feel pain. Let's move the legs together, and we move at the front of our mat. We go a spine roll, so we go breath in, breath out, the spine roll. We hold here, we hold our elbows with the opposite hand. We can gently move sideways, moving our hips sideways. Let's hold for four, or our arms sideways, whatever it feels good for you. Just one more. And breathe out. Drop your hands, lift your chest. We step backward, right and left. We sit back. It's important to do always this transition to move from the all fours to the standing and then back because that will help us to gain mobility, even if it's difficult sometimes. Let's go here onto child pose. You sit back as much as you can, and then you move your hands towards to the right side to curve your spine. Feel the lovely stretch in your back. Let's hold here for four. Breath in. Anna. Let's go for three. Anna. Let's go two. And, and just one more. Let's move other side. 
And we just hold it here for four. And let's go for three. And let's go two. Uh, just one more. And back to center. Let's head, hold the last four breath here. Breathe in. Keep pushing your bum down to your heels to extend your back and your arms. Let's go for the three. And let's go for the two. And, uh, and just one more. And gently raise your door so everybody. Let's sit down in any comfy position. How you feel? Fantastic. Now it feels really good. Let me know how did you go with this class. And after this recovery class, this is our last class of the program. And then after this, you are ready to fly into the other classes like uh, yoga for today or tomorrow you know that we have a I have a series of we have a series of videos there for you can enjoy it and there are different every every mm, class is different but always with a global developing sometimes focusing in some areas so that is great to keep you training don't stop here just keep going keep going keep going keep going and you will see you won't have problems or knee problems, lower back pain. But the most important, you will feel free to move. So thank you for joining me. And we'll see you in the next video. But you still have loads of videos here in the gallery to practice. Remember that you can find me in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Also in TikTok and here as well remember to subscribe like and thank you for your attention let's say goodbye with those last three breaths that we always do to release the stress so we go breath in arms up breathe out through your mouth arms down and it feels great let's go breath in and just one more breath in and hands back prayer position and we say namaste thank you for joining me